Continuing on, there are many invalids today who will ever remain so because they cannot be convinced that their experience is not reliable. That's quite the statement. Many people are invalids because they rely upon their experience. And this could happen in many ways. One way is someone may actually genuinely become an invalid, someone who cannot really take care of themselves, and just believe that, oh, well, now I'm an invalid and there's nothing I can do about it. My experience, you know, I went through this horrible accident or I had this disease and now it's just hopeless. And so psychologically, they could end up bringing themselves to actually be hopeless when, in fact, if they had a more optimistic perspective, they might have overcome those circumstances. That's one way in which this could happen. But there's a far broader way in which this can happen and in which it does happen. And that is simply that someone could discard science and go with their own perspectives, which they have developed and maintained upon the foundation of their experience and could thus believe that the right way to take care of their bodies is whatever, rather than going with science-based research. And thus, they could end up in a poorer state of health and end up in a place where they are not properly treating their diseases because of the general approach that they have taken to health, which is based not upon science, but upon their experience. 